Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and welcome to those who are new. Welcome back to those who are seasoned watchers and yeah, I've got nothing else to say but my hands are feeling hella crusty. Today we're going to be doing a pinkish look on my eyes. As you can see, my base is done as always. And we're going to do a pinkish look on my eyes using the Makeup Revolution Chocolate Cherry Palette. I, I'm sure you've seen me use this plenty of times before, but today, I don't know. I saw this look on Instagram and I was like, oh, that is so cute. So I was like, I need to be doing that. I should really have everything out, but in true Zoe form, what is organization? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. So this one is very, I love this one. Well, this concealer anyway. Okay, and then oh, I'm going to put it all over the eyelid. I feel like I should put more, but I feel like a little goes a long way at the same time. Look, I put so much on this one. Transfer, yeah, here we go. Transferring. This palette smells gorgeous, by the way, like, ugh. One of the reasons why I love it is because it smells so good. It just smells good, like, it smells like cherries. And if you know me, you know. I don't like cherries, but I can deal with the scent. It's literally cherry chocolate, like, it's like one thing I love and one thing I hate. I love chocolate, I hate cherries. So I can kind of deal with the scent. Actually, I think the scent is gorgeous, so, huh. Okay, so next, we're gonna go in with this color right here, which is called Dark Chocolate. So, going in with chocolate, ooh. Okay, and I'm taking Black Forest, which is like a lighter brown. And I'm taking that over as well. Because we are going to show up. Not really, but yeah. I don't know, I feel like it's been a long time since I've been in the mood to do a chatty video. Like most times, my I'm sorry about the lighting. If the lighting is weird, it's because of the sun, okay? I'm still working with the sunlight, all right? We're still trying to figure out how to do this thing together. But yeah, so it's been a while since I've done a chatty video. My last couple of videos have been very like, um, I guess like look focused. And when I focus, I cannot chat. Like, now I'm kind of focused, but like, normally when, when it's something really, really intricate and I need, I need that focus time. I feel like this is basically how I am in real life. Like, when I know what's going on, I will chat about it. But if I don't know what's going on, I will not talk about it. You know, I don't know why. It's weird because I like, I don't know. I'm a Capricorn and I love knowing what's going on. If I don't know what's going on, I literally won't talk about it. I won't discuss it. I won't let you know. I won't let anyone know, apart from respect to you. And it's 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 not good, but at the same time, it's like, it's my business to be telling, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I've got an apartment with my friends. We're out here living the bachelorette life out on these streets. Um, yeah, it's been good so far. I mean, I'm still in the market for a job because YouTube is not my full time. Lord, let us speak this into existence. So I'm still searching. It's funny because you know like how some people are like, just take whatever you have and just go. I feel like I'm not that person. I feel like I need to know that this job is a good job. I need to know that the vibes and the energy that I'm working with is a good job. So like I've said before, like when I hate, when I do not like where I'm working, it shows. Like within the first, I wanna say like, like the first week or so is fine. Like I'm cool, I'm collected, I'm taking in the environment, taking in the vibes, all of that good stuff, which is fantastic. Like I enjoy it. So that's cool but and this is a very big but soon after like if i start getting tired of it soon after i will start dragging myself out of bed i will literally feel like i'm in not to be so exaggerative or well, not to be exaggerator but 
this is real. Like, I literally feel like I'm in hell. I'm like, why must I come in? Everything gets on my nerves. I hate everything. Literally, it's so soul draining for me. So I'm just like, I, I can't stand this place. So now, though I want a job, I'm being, being very picky about what environment I choose to put myself into work-wise because I'm just like, if I'm spending what, maybe like eight hours of the day with you, I'm, I will need for you to, to give me, like to be soul enriching, basically. I will need for you to, um, to, to be like a really interesting job with amazing people. I'm not here to be drained. I shouldn't have to force myself to a job that literally pours nothing into me, but takes everything away from me. Every, when I say everything, I mean like energy. So I'm just like, I don't know what else I should do to this. I feel like I should add a bit more. Okay, this is where I'll ruin my looks, but it's fine. Absolutely fine, because this is what I was made to do. <laughs> I was made to like ruin some looks. Yeah, but that's basically how I feel about jobs at the moment. I'm just like, like, I have, I feel like I've been working since, like, to be honest, I've been working since I was like 16, 17. So I'm just like, I low key, like sometimes when I get these breaks, these career breaks, sometimes I just welcome them and I just allow them to take their, to do what they need to do before I get either bored or run out of money. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just like, I feel like I'm kind of taking a career break, low key, just to figure out what I want to do because I've had some amazing positions and, I just want to, I want to find something that is equal to or more than, or fulfills me, fulfills me equally or more than what that position has already done, you know? And like, I hope, like, I hope that I find one that does it and within a good time frame too, because bruh, Christmas is coming and your girl wants to go home for Christmas because <laughs> there's no way I'm staying out here. There's no way, no way I'm staying out here. I'm not going home for Christmas, are you mad? And plus, on top of that, during the Christmas period is my birthday. To be sitting here on my bed, oh, God forbid, God forbid. So, we're really like praying for a miracle here. Pray for me guys, cause I'm gonna need it, I'm gonna need it. And I'm just like, some of the jobs, oh, don't get me stuff. Some of the positions, yeah. I'm just like, are you for real? Like, for example, like, they'll be like, oh, we need a, we need someone to come in. And it'll be like, yeah, we're entry level. And it'll be like 10 years experience. So I'm just like, ask me, bitch, what kind of entry level position? Where is the entry? In fact, 10 years they have entered, did their thing and have left. Like what? What kind of entry, le entry level position do you call that? But anyways, I was just like, eh, you know what? It's you, that's yours, that's yours. Cause you can't come to me and ask me for 10 years. 10 years, 10 years. I would have been working to, I would have been trying to, I would have been in the industry since I was like, what, 15 or something. And I'm just like, Half of the time I'm just like, you don't need to be realistic. Like I feel like recruiters need to be realistic with not only their goals, but with just everything, like what you're asking for and the position, because we're just like entry level, entry level. I understand entry level, if you want to be, uh, if you're applying to be a CEO at an entry level, I understand 10 years. But if you're applying to be a developer, like a front end developer, entry level, I would not expect 10, five to 10 years from you. I would expect maybe one to two. Like half of me is just like, so just start your own thing, like start your own business. Like, do. But then again, I'm just like, you need funds. You need money. You need the funds. And I'm just like, I just, currently as, 
like I could invest in myself that's a very very big risk and also I don't know what I want to do like if I was to start my own business it's like what do I want to do how do I go about doing it I'm gonna need a mentor for this and I, I currently do not have a mentor so if you have extended knowledge about business how to start a business where to where to start let me know because I have ideas like knocking around in my head like but I just don't know how to execute it, you know? If I can't find someone who wants to hire me, freaking hire myself. Like, I could be employee of the month, every single month. Employee of the week, employee of the day, you know? Like, I could be doing it. But, again, I need to figure out how, so. Doing thin lines of eyeliner really ags me because I'll do it thin on one eye and the other eye will be thicker than a sneaker. And I'm like, bro, you're not even supposed to be showing. You're literally there for decoration. Like, I literally, you're just there to cover up the line from my, from my eyelash. Like, hello. Yeah, so that's basically my story. That's my story and I'm sticking to it, hun. Yeah. But if you guys have any advice as to where I can go in terms of like business wise, let me know. I'm trying to do something, but I just don't know how. And I realized, like, one thing that I realized out of this whole, it, another thing that I've realized out of this whole experience is that it's never, it's never a bad thing to ask for help because I am very, you know, you know when you look at horoscopes and sometimes you're like, no, nah, that can never be me. Everything, everything, if not most things that you read on Capricorns and their traits is me. I'm literally so freaking hard-headed. I don't like asking for help. I am always like, like I keep things inside, like everything that you could possibly think, like most things you could possibly think of a Capricorn, I am there because I'm just like, I don't wanna ask, like on one side, I'm just like, I don't ask for help, I can do it myself. I am that girl, I am that beep. On the other hand, I'm like, was I really ask for help? That's the only way that you'll learn how to grow. The same way, like, it's like school if you don't ask you what like not like school but just in life if you don't ask you won't get so i'm trying to ask to get you know so i'm trying to ask to grow also there's a reason why i'm not zooming in i'm not zooming in because my skin is very problematic at the moment like i've got rashes like under my eyes and i have no idea where they've come from they literally like appeared and i was like wow is this what we're really doing is this what we're really doing skin? I don't know what it's, what it's about. I don't know, cause I, I recently added um, lactic acid. Was it lactic? Yes, lactic acid from The Ordinary into my skin, into my daily routine or nightly routine. So it says to take it at night. I don't know whether that's causing a reaction. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna stop using it for maybe like a couple, maybe a week and see how it goes. Cause I've been using it. So see how it goes. Uh, I think I'm gonna wash basically everything that I use on my face because I use this little uh, bamboo pad uh, instead of using like cotton pads, save the environment. But I think I'm gonna wash that, see if that has made a difference, see if that will make a difference. And yeah, if not, then I might need to change up my skincare routine. And if I do, I will let y'all know what's going on. I'm taking the shimmer shade from Alexis Stone palette, the Alexis Stone palette, this one here, and I'm putting it underneath my eye. Can you see it? I don't think I like it. And that is on period. And then I'm adding pop on top. A <gasps> Poet things, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where this good mood has come from. I feel like something was not for me and it didn't come to me and it's not something to be sad about. It's not something to cry about. It's just something to acknowledge. Like it was not for me in the first place. Everything that is for me will be for me and will find me. In my mind, I'm low-key like relieved that certain things didn't pan out the way that I like initially had wanted them to. And I'm not mad about it. I'm not sad about it. I'm just like, I'm at peace with it because I'm just like, well, oh my gosh, I've got so much glitter in my eye. Oh my goodness, this is uncomfortable. Yeah. So I'm just at peace knowing that certain things are not for me. And you know what? <laughs> Don't think of it. Like, 
I was watching like Brittany Lee's video about rejection and stuff like that, like certain things about rejection and I'm just like, certain things, honestly, are out like, they're just not for you. They're just not for you, boo. And, and it's okay for things not to be for you because there are other, you need to think like there are other things, there's something else out there. This particular thing may not be for you, but other things will be. And I think that's very important to remember that other things will be for you. It's not the be all end all because more more things are coming, you know? And I think it, and I think it's also about having a mindset of abundance, knowing that more is coming, more is happening, more is on its way. And just because you didn't get this one thing that you wanted at this one time doesn't mean that you won't get anything. Things just take time. Let 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 everything work the way it's supposed to work. Like that's the thing that I feel like everyone struggles with because there's that, it's like, go after what you want. And then the other side is like, no, wait for it to come to you. So which one do you go for? I feel like if you really want, I feel like it depends on the situation. Say if you really, really want a house and you saw that house and you were like, oh my gosh, I love that house, this and that. So you work hard, you save up, you get the down payment for the house. You're ready to put in an offer, all of that good stuff. Then boom. The offer falls through, something goes on, maybe escrow didn't happen. I don't know what escrow is, but I heard about it a lot when like, I'm watching these house things, but whatever. <laughs> maybe um, someone else has come and put a bigger, um, a bigger offer on the house and so on and so forth. Then literally you turn around, whoop, you see a for sale sign. You go into that house and that house is the house of your dreams and then some. You've already got the money. Well, You've already got like an estimate of the money guessing that it's in the same area. And then there you go. Like certain things are for you, like really, really for you. And sometimes you need to weigh it out. Like you might work so hard to get something, but if that something isn't for you, you might turn around and find something even better. So I'm just like, though I though I feel like I'm, I should get a job like right now when the right position find or when the right position is for me and when I'm right for that certain position then it's a wrap the bug you know so I'm very like I don't know I'm in a weird mood today like one of those moods like make your own destiny kind of situation you know okay I'm gonna do my eyelashes and I'm gonna come back because my mouth dangles and bow jangles way too much for me to be doing this on camera. That's basically what my life has been like, you know? Like I'm waiting for a good opportunity to find, like not to find me, but I've been waiting for like opportunity preparation, you know what I'm saying? Hard work meets preparation, you know? Because it's not like I've been sitting on my bum and just like, just like hoping that someone finds me on Indeed or LinkedIn. Like, no, I actually have been applying like loads, but I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go into another work environment, you know, like, I look like a clown. I feel like I put too much blush on whenever I put on this blush, but I love it so much. So I'm just like, Aah! So now I'm going to put on the Makeup Revolution is called the Pout Bomb and it has lip plumping effects. Yes, I know. So you have lip? I know. But I love a bit of plumpiness. Why? Because I feel like, oh, it just does it for me. Like, it just freaking does it for me. Like, I actually have a video on their IG. I have a video on their Instagram. IGTV, I'm such a granny. I have no idea what anything is. On their IGTV, and boom. Like, I think showing the seven different shades that they have. So go check that out if you like this video. Anyway, so let me let down my, my locks. I don't actually have locks, I have extensions, I have braids, which are self done. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that I did my braids myself? I have prided myself in my ability to rise to the occasion. I even reached the back. So I showed my mum and my mum was like, the back is so full. And I was like, thank you, mama. 
this is the finished look. I wanted to show you my braids real quick because I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so proud. Shimmer underneath my eye. Oh, can you see? The shimmer from the Alexis Stone palette. And then on top, we've got a really cute cut crease. I've never used this pink before, but I feel like this is a habit in the making. And then I have my, of course, dull beauty eyelashes that have been serving me all the way right since I bought them. And I am wearing the Kiss by Makeup Revolution, which I actually love. So yeah, so I know this has been a very chatty video. I feel like I just had a lot to say. I guess this is the end. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for enduring my talk because I can talk, I can talk. Okay, I can talk, yeah. But thank you so much for enjoying my talk. Um, it has been so nice. You don't even understand. It's been so nice just talking it all out and just being like, I know that it's not like a two-way thing, but if you're all up in the comments, be in the comments so we can make it like a, a conversation and stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming back and tuning in to my video. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Click that red button, make it, I think it's gray. Go from subscribe to subscribe, but duh. And don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend friend about my videos about my channel and i will catch you in the next one bye